I think some dude was just trying to play with your butt, to be real. Plus, like, what the <laughs> fuck? You can't just rub a dip can and I'll pop up like a... What? Yo, church always got to take it to the next freaking level. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, look, we're back here with another Up Church part of his uh, his series with uh, the Gobbler. Um, but look, if you are seeing me for the first time, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button while you edit, because guess what? We're at 50K by any means necessary, you know what I'm saying? So we on this little road right now, so let's get her done. But uh, my favorite uh, country boy, he about to do his thing. It's, this joke was 30 minutes. I think that's why I didn't post this uh, over the weekend. But <clears throat> let's go ahead and hop into it because I need this good old live. So let's get done. Welcome back, folks. We have breaking news. Breaking Light news. Broken news. Without any further ado, I give you the legend of Johnny Gobble and the Cracky Tooth Chronicles. Cracky Tooth. But they heard me, I pulled up with some other boys that I had made friends with, and they, they had ended up texting church saying, hey man, there's a boy down here. About that. I didn't know this how it went down until years later, but... All right, so the guy on top is Johnny Gobble. The guy on bottom is Cracky Tooth. So Cracky Tooth, the guy on the bottom who sounds like an old grandma with mesophilioma, is apparently about to tell a story that I'm involved in. Let's see how many Johnny Gobble Cracky Tooth tendencies are in this story. I'm interested. Me too. Based Let's go for it. Playing the Bulletproof, the original one that I wrote way before Church and me met. And uh, when I was playing the original version, uh, that's when Church pulled up after they texted him. And he pulled up. And he waited until I got done playing guitar and playing that song. And he walked up to me, just straight up to me, shook my hand. He said, word for word, I'm going to make you the next Justin Moore. Well, damn, that sucks because you didn't end up being that, now did you? You ended up being the next dumbass on my YouTube channel. So the story he's referring to a long time ago, some kids around here was like, hey, man, there's this fucking dude at the park. I think he's homeless and he's looking for you. I was like, for what? And they're like, man, he needs help or something, fucking something with a record deal. So pretty much I drive down there and there's this fucking kid yodeling in the rain. It's like goddamn 50 degrees outside. Yodeling. I got out of my truck. I walked over. There. I was like, hey, man, what the fuck, you know, what are you doing at the park? You know, yodeling in the rain. He's like, man, I traveled down here, and when I got down here, man, this dude told me he had a record deal for me, man. And he, like, tricked me, man. I'm living in the woods over here, man. I was like, what the fuck? A record deal in Ashland City? He's like, yeah, man. It's like, fucking right over there in front of the fucking shell station, man. That's how a story really started. Okay, now go on, Cracky Toe. Tell us the story. Man, I said, who the hell are you? He said, I'm not, I'm not up church. He said, I do music and stuff, and... He said, I don't know what your situation is, but you can come back with me tonight. You want to, and I'll help you out. Get you a room. I got, you, I got extra room in my apartment and all this, and everything come off so nice and all that. And that. Yeah, kind of. I did take him in for the night. It was raining outside. It was cold. I wasn't going to leave Cracky Tooth in the woods, you know what I'm saying? He, he don't know this place. So, yeah, I did tell him to come back to the house, but I wasn't, like, super nice. I said, hey, man, you can come back to my house, but my girlfriend at the time is here, too. Don't come in my room or I will shoot you because I don't know you. That's how that went. Take it away, Cracky Tooth. Well, God damn. I wouldn't even have went there. First of all, okay, you're going to a stranger's house, right? But you don't know this person. Okay, it's up church, but you don't know his mental. So you just go be like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and go. You're a little weirdo. And, and I have 1,100%. I don't even know if that's a number. But I, I, I psh, you, my girl and I, you come out psh, this this area, I'm going to give you one for the kneecaps. I see that all day for up church. That's why that's my man right there. But I'm just not going to take some random dude that's living in the woods home. He's so sweet. He's such a nice person. And, and, and for everybody who always say up church is an A and all this, he took the dude out of the woods. Something in my stomach told me no, so I said no, you know. I said no, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to do what I'm doing. Oh, so he's, well, oh, he stayed in the woods. And then everybody hung out for a while and they left and it was just me again. And the next day he pulled back up. And he said, look, man, you, you really, you just, like, you can't be out here. Like, what are you going to do? He's like, I was like, I'm going to do what I always do. 
You're already lying. You came back the first night. Why the fuck would I come back a second time and be like, man, you sure you don't want to? I mean, I don't fucking really want you in my house. I was just trying to be nice. And uh, he's like, well, just come back with me, man. Like, I know, I know it's weird. I know you don't know me, but like, we can really make some music and we can really do something. I thought, like, I know you don't know me, but if you trust me for a day, I'll tell you who I am. I'll tell you what we can do and all that. And uh, right, he's shaking his head. Saying, oh, fuck, in my head, I'm thinking, I ain't got shit going on. I ain't going out. Right. This is it for me. You already told me the story about the record deal, which I don't think... I don't even know what the fuck that was. There is no record label in Ashland City. I think some dude was just trying to play with your butt, to be real. Plus, like, what the fuck? You can't just rub a dip can and I'll pop up like a... What? Yo, church always got to take it to the next freaking level. Music <laughs> ad. Hey, man, I can make you a star. You traveled here to Ashland City about a fake record deal. Everyone knows I'm against record deals. I asked you if you need some help. Right. Boom, there we go. Oh my God, that's fucking crazy, man. So crazy. He fucking took me in his apartment. At the time, he was in an apartment. Yeah, so I go back with him at night at my bag and my guitar and all I ever had. And uh, to this day, if I didn't have my, my girlfriend, if I wouldn't want her, that's all I still have, my bag and my guitar. Right. Um, you know, uh, I walked in, he, he took me to the back bedroom. He said, hey, you're, hey, you're, it was, a, it was a studio. It had a studio and a bed in it. He said, here, it's, it's your room. Who is, rec- is, is, is the gobbler recording his conversation? He must don't know how to do, like, the, the record video. Make it yours. Do whatever you want. Hand me a skull can. And I said, I don't do it. I quit it, but I, I smoke cigarettes and shit. But right. I was like, I don't do it. He said, no, no, open it up. He's like, I open it up. It's full of weed. He's like, you smoke? Don't you guys? like, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, like, I was like, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. And it was cool. For like a long time after that, it was like, oh, it is, like that. Yeah. and then like, I think six months rolled by. He recorded I, his song. In those six months, I was not singing. I was just, uh, nobody knows this, but if you ever heard a guitar on any of the his first album and up to Project X, that was me. That's how I made my living with Church for, until I ever spun a song with him. I played, I made beats with band play for a long last time. That's all wow. I did. Me and Johnny Cashville and band play made all the beats and wrote all the hooks. Nope, that's a lie. <laughs> I don't like no hooks. Did I pay you as a guitar player in the studio? Uh, yeah, it's called a session player. I pay you the money. I already gave you a place to stay. Now you work for me. You got a roof over your head. I'm paying you to go to work to the studio. I'm paying you money. To do this, when I could pay 500 other motherfuckers in Nashville to do it, but I'm letting you do it to make money to get on your feet. Not only to get on your feet, but you're already in a studio, Cracky Tooth. Use the money I'm paying you to the, pay for your own music. It's and the make Cracky Tooth for me. At the studio you're already at. Uh-huh. So like a year went by, and finally I got to do Bulletproof. Because in that year, six months to a year, I hadn't wrote anything. I was just doing uh, guitar uh, track. Yeah, to six months to a year, you didn't write shit for yourself. What do you mean do? Sharpen the goddamn pencil and be like, "Hey, write these lyrics." And uh, so we do the we do uh, bulletproof. We didn't do a video for that, but we do. I am so tired of looking at his ceiling. If you want to record something, I'm gonna need you to screen record it and not s- record your ceiling of butter- butterflies and a floating whatever that is. The TV screen thing, cause I'm over it. Like, come on, bro. Bulletproof, and that's everybody's introduction to me. You know, as right. me. Hey, this is who this kid is. You know, whatever. So after I saved him from a guy who wanted to probably touch his butthole, got him to stop yodeling in the rain when it's 50 degrees outside. Put a roof over his head. Give him a fucking job. Take him on tour. Now I do a song with him and show him to people to boost his career. I'm such a fucking horrible person. You You're are. going to hell. Well, then. You such, man, he a mean ass mo. Don't do that again. You know, that's cool. I'm touring and doing Bulletproof, and then we do the old days of the music video, and then my whole life changed, like, for fucking ever. My life changed when I met Church because, like, I, don't, I don't know if anybody knows this, Church was famous six years ago. Right. And, like, the type of famous where it was scary. Like, when I literally, I, I can never make this shit up. Like, when I first, the first time Church ever posted me on his shit, like, I was just playing guitar in Instagram videos from him, like, while he sung. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Jeez, calm down, Johnny Gobble. You know he's over there stretching his nutsack out far as hell right now. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Oh, shit, my testicle fell on the ground. Yeah, it does have a lot of views. 
It's been out for four years and has 39 million views to be exact. It's a shit ton of exposure for free if you ask me. me Record see. labels can't even buy you that. And look, he's done not shit with it. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's, not, it's that, that's what I was getting at. Like, bro, my phone literally. Exposure for out for four years. Views. Check out views. Videos from him, like, while he sung. I can imagine the views. On his shit, like, when I literally, I, I can never make this shit up. Like, when I first, the first time Church ever posted me on his shit, like, I was just playing guitar in Instagram videos from him, like, while he sung. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Jeez, calm down, Johnny Gobble. You know he's over there stretching his nutsack out far as hell right now. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Oh shit, my testicle fell on the ground. Yeah, it does have a lot of views. It's been out for four years and has 39 million views to be exact. It's a shit ton of exposure for free if you ask me. Record labels can't even buy you that. And look, he's done not shit with it. Well, it's not, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's that, that's what I was getting at. Like, bro, my phone literally froze for four days straight. I could not even open my phone, use my phone, because it was going, it, 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 it locked my phone. My phone shut down. Wow. Me. Wow. And that's when I knew shit was different. I had no idea, nothing, none of this. And, then I, I knew, and you yeah, ain't I wrong with this? Boy, bro, you stupid. This. Everything happened so fucking fast for me on my end, because that's, that's my, that's, that's how it happened to me. Right. Well, what are you crying about? You came here for a record deal to do the same exact thing. The only difference is that some dude pulled up in a dot and was like, I can help you. And did it better. In six months, everybody in the little... This is how crazy for me. I'm from Mississippi, bro. I, I didn't expect to ever do nothing. I just expected to struggle my whole life like I still am, you know? Good God. He's just like Johnny Gobble, bro. Who the fuck wakes up and like, yep, today I choose to struggle some more. Mmm. Mm. Came here for a record deal, bro. What do you? I came there to change my life, but my life got changed, and I was like, man, I don't want my life to change. Fuck it. I planned on just yodeling in the rain at the park for the rest of my life. Yodeling. To hear me out, bro. There's literally porn stars with my name on them. There's fucking uh, girls in New Zealand, guys in New Zealand that wear up me and his music and got our name tattooed on them in New Zealand. Like, this shit is not real to me. Like, this shit is still ain't hit me. Like, the fuck? Like, and, and, and. It ain't hit you. Bro, I fired you like five years ago, bro. You need to wake the fuck up. <laughs> now, I don't know about porn stars and guys from New Zealand having your name tattooed on them, but, you know, maybe people get R-H-E-C or Creaker or my signature tattooed on them to maybe they came to a show and they're listening to music that changed their life or the way they think about their self, and maybe that's their way of showing appreciation. I'm not going to treat them like they're weird. Yeah, or I ain't going to lie. Since doing reactions ch between Church, Acal, uh, Tom McDonald, Yellow Wolf, they kind of change my views on a certain type of things. So I'm glad that I started doing reactions and and broadening, you know, my 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 listening ears. You know what I'm saying? Because if I wasn't doing reactions, one thousand percent. I probably would have never, ever went across or came across up church. So, um, I can't even remember how, I think somebody sent me the first video. And that, after that, I was hooked. I was like, oh man, this dude, fire! I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, they are. They're real people. It is real life. Maybe they share real values with me. Like, yeah. You don't have to understand it. You're fucking hanging out with Johnny Gobble. You probably don't understand shit. Uh, Roxy. Old days come out, bro. And my whole fucking life changed. I couldn't even go outside the fucking apartment without being without somebody being like, yo, 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 you're that fucking dude. Yo, cause it No. <laughs> it wasn't like that back then, bro. I wasn't even that famous. No, that did not happen ever. Not even to me. So I know it didn't happen to you. You know how I know? I was there, dummy. Oh, it was church, bro. Church was so fucking retarded famous that if he posted anybody, you could What's that retarded person famous? could not walk outside the area and breathe. You couldn't, bro. I went to the mall with my baby mama. And I couldn't even... I, I was going to get tattooed. My neck tattooed for old days video. This was before the old days, actually. I was getting my neck tattooed for the old... I, I got the microphone tattooed the day before the old days was shot. Because I had to. I had an ex's name I on think there. I, I did. cover it up with something. Because right. I knew it was going to get a lot of fucking views. You know? Right. Tell us you're a dirt bag without telling us you're a fucking dirt bag. The chick he's talking about is my friend, which he impregnated and then dipped out on and went to New York with a guy named Chris. And so it looks like Justin Cracky Tooth Adams' public apology to church 
went up uh, three days ago, so I'm gonna check that out after this. I I'm just curious of what he had to say. Um, oh, this was posted by uh, Shaga Shane. Interesting. He would do that? Why am I so hungry? Justin Adams, public apology to Upchurch. Huh. Old days. Official music video. This is so much going on. Shut the chain! Uh, yeah. So he's with his baby mama getting a tattoo to cover up his other baby mama for the music video, which will attract him in the future more baby mama drama. If that don't tell you who the fuck this dude is, then I don't know what does. And, um, uh, yeah, so, you know, I did the old days, and that's when I was like, oh, my God, this is real life. Yo, that's sad. This dude is still promoting the old days, and the old days is actually now literally the old days. No, no. <laughs> this is real oh, sorry. And then, like, during that time, also, Church bought me, like, three trucks, bro. Church bought me three vehicles. When I went in, the, in the time of me knowing him, bro, he bought me three vehicles. And he well, actually, I bought you one vehicle because you didn't have one, and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy you one. That was back when I was broke, by the way. The other two vehicles I bought you was because you were dating my friend, and y'all were going to have a baby, and you was not interested in having a safe car for the baby. So I had to buy it because I care about my friend who you impregnated. <laughs> Here's how fucking stupid this guy is. One of the vehicles I buy for the baby so it could be safe, this dumb motherfucker trades it for a stunt bike that has no title. What are you gonna do if I can take your kid to goddamn Walmart on the stunt bike? Bro, he bought me three vehicles and he gave me one. And he, he, bro, he don't care. He's ever since I've known Church, he's always had at least at the at one time fifteen vehicles. He, he never has less than 15, 20 vehicles, and that's that, that, that ain't a rich thing. He's just he's a car fanatic. I give him that. I'll give him that. He does like cars. He, he's always been in. I mean, him and Gerald love trying bait, uh, trading, buying and selling cars. That's their thing. They've always done that. I'm not gonna take that from them. Well, somebody help me. I don't fucking. I don't speak dumbass. What does that mean? I don't know. I was. I ain't gonna I take was... that away from him. He likes cars. I ain't gonna take that away from him. You can't. I'm buying the cars. What are you talking about? He, he, he's, he's, he's back with to an extent. To our next. Wait, I think what he's trying to, trying to say is that, you know, your your car. I don't know shit. I get wrong. Damn. Ouch. He's trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to put that. Excuse me. Actually, I have backwoods tattooed on my back. That's how backwards I am, bitch. But, Church, but Deardorff, this is the thing, though. I, I'm going to skip around a little bit, but when I first met Church, Deardorff is one of his first friends come to me and talk, come to me and told me, took me to work with him, because I, I was just kidding. Like I said, I'm just kidding on the street. So he said, Deardorff picked me Why up to get work with him. I'm right around him one day. Why would he hear you in one ear? And uh, Deardorff is the, like, the first person I ever talked to before I met anybody else in his group of friends. Yeah. And he was like, yo, bro, I don't know. And it's like Deirdre was kind of mad at him too, like mad because his, his friend Church he grew up with him put on the front. Like uh, he he literally. I'm gonna need him to fix his audio because I can only hear him. Like literally everything he raps about is everything I've done. It's like you you like, moving around in this I literally chased Church around his own house three times. This shit Deirdre told me. Nope, not true. And then no, I hear it's not it true. Does. And Deirdre knows it's not true. Deirdre has never chased me around trying to fight me. Ask him. Deirdre is my homie. You're the one who's gotten chased around houses. And that was by me. And Deardorff, that's how he <laughs> in the parking lot. He, he, he told me I wasn't going to meet him, and I met him. I, I walked right up to him, and I, I shook his fucking hand. No, that never happened. I don't even know where the fuck that story came from. You mean to tell me he showed up to fight you and didn't fight you? Bruh, you weigh like 90 pounds. Boy, that's a lie if I ever heard one. If Deardorff shows up to fight you, he came to fight you, bruh. He's not just going to be like, oh, never mind. I just, I, I, because he thought I was trying to fuck Lauren, his old lady or some shit. Went down, I was talking something like that. And it, what? Bruh, Lauren has not been to give you the time of day. I'm sorry. A bunch of rumors because the trade my baby mama got spread around. And just wow. drama. That's all drama. Damn, now me and his baby mama fuck it? Jessica, are you watching this shit? I don't know what that man. I couldn't. That's why I'm, I'm out. I don't deal with that. That is. Look at some drugs in his brain. He's like, fuck, man, I said too much retarded shit. I'm going to have to look out the windows for the next month. I'm scared. Live. I couldn't live the lifestyle that he lives. Well, hey, there's something we agree on. I agree. You probably couldn't. You'd see an amount in the bank account and fucking OD in the next four days. 
No, hell no. It's just, it's, it's not even the lifestyle, bro. It's just what he allows and enjoys to happen. He, he, he feeds on the bullshit. Yeah. Well, yeah, look what kind of videos it makes. The Cracky Tooth Chronicles. <laughs> like, yo, just so you know, at church, he ain't country. Yeah. Like, everything he raps about is shit that I do in every day. Like, the fucking cars and the fucking uh, shit. Here, man, all them fucking Can-Am videos and riding wheelies and Harleys and shit, I just hire a stunt double to do all of it. Jet skiing, stunt double. Hiking through the North Carolina mountains during berry season with a bunch of bears, stunt double. Eat old school muscle cars I got, I don't drive them, stunt double. So I can just look backwards, you know what I mean? He's engineered over the first one to tell me that church was always that skater punk class clown in, in school. No. Okay, so he told you the truth? I don't understand. I still skateboard. I was about to say, what? You that with the Pokemon shit. Oh shit, <laughs> calm down, buddy. The Pokemon shit! I must not be dumb enough to understand why that's a diss. I don't know. You can tell that with the Pokemon shit. Right, and not for nothing when I was Did like he just post a video of Pokemon, Pokemon cards, about the that, trades? I think that was over. I mean, yeah, the craze is over, but, you know, all those cards from back then are worth lots of money now. I thought I said that. For instance, I have like $890,000 worth of those gay Pokemon cards. I mean... Yeah, when I was growing up, my... I'm not hating on shit, because I have certain things from my childhood that I still fuck with. Yeah, just like Justin's childhood, he still doesn't have a job. But I'm not going to fucking make it my everyday life. Like, you have no other thing in your life going on. You just, all day, every day, you just, you're in baby land. I don't know what the fuck's going right. on. Right. So interesting. There's two grown-ass men over the age of 30 who smoke crack rocks that are mad that I collect Pokemon cards. I was lost for us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> This is why I make these videos. Man, it's just, I just wish that, I wish people knew more, but. <sighs> It'll come out. It'll come out. What are y'all doing? Hosting the AA meeting for Upchurch Trauma? Fuck. I've been bitter, I've been bitter for a long time. Not, not, not I know you have. Just I know what you. people don't know. And what people don't know. And, I know. And it bothers me for everybody to see like, oh my God, and just worship this motherfucker. And, 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 I'm, and I'm not even saying that he shouldn't have no fans. All I'm saying is, Y'all need to know the fucking truth if you're going to support somebody. Right. Bringing you the truth since last week. Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth will continue to tell us the truth is dead. My whole life, my freedom, and everything for this man. On one, more than one occasion. What I mean by that is he had death threats from black people at shows. Back I'm just saying, okay. Mr. Adams. Like he said, this video has 39 million views. You can get a career off of that like my guy even the 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 clean version has 68k you could have rolled off this 39 million and kept it moving what in the hickey i don't i i don't know i really 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 don't know I mean, he didn't get his stuff together. Okay, let's go back over. In the first beginning. Nope, that's false. I've only had two death threats at shows, and they're both white guys. Once in West Virginia. I've that, proof is dead. My whole life, my freedom, everything for this man. On one, more than one occasion. What I mean by that is he had death threats from black people at shows back in the first beginning. Nope, that's false. I've only had two death threats at shows, and they're both white guys. Once in West Virginia and once in South Carolina. So every show we played, bro, there was death threats. If at every show there was death threats, I don't think I'd be playing shows still. Oh, I don't yeah. think places would want to book you either, right? Hell no. Nah. You know that guy that gets all the death threats everywhere? Let's fucking book him. Every every show there we played, there was a death threat. So we all had guns. Well, Church had a gun, I had a gun, the drummer and DJ didn't. We no, no, I didn't have a gun. I ain't backwards, bro. No, I was just fucking stunt double. But let me tell you something, that motherfucker won't even hold his own gun. This yeah, man, Church carries a gun, man. Hey, man, Church won't even hold a gun, man. This dude's brain's fucked up. This is, this is why I stopped respecting him. Like, bro, I, I, had, I just had my son. You know this. You're the godfather right. of my son. And yet you asked me to carry your gun into a bar and risk my freedom, my life, possibly get shot or have to shoot somebody over you. And then... I get on stage performing in the middle of the song. After uh, after the song, you look at me and go in the middle of a crowd. Go ahead, Justin. So, uh, I, you know, remember when somebody said they was gonna shoot us at this show on stage? I was like, yeah. He's like, what you gonna do? I was like, man, what the fuck. 
And it's just like he's telling everybody I got a gun on me. Like, bro. So nobody caught it. And I was just, so I made it sound, I, I, made, I broke it off like it was funny. I was like, I'm going to fucking shoot him. I was just being funny. And I laughed. And then I got off stage. I walked to the green room to pull the gun out and put it up. Well, fucking the drummer and the DJ were back there with some groupies. Right. And the groupies, as soon as I walked in, I'm not used to fucking groupies being in the green room because they're not supposed to be. Right. Yeah, ladies. No girls allowed. Right. And the artist play come right after the show and get our shit out and right and, you know, whatever. Right. So, me not just being used to the green room, I fucking barge in with the gun out and, put, and start wiping it off and I'm sweating like a motherfucker. Oh, well, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you bust up in a green room with a gun, you dummy? The gun's gonna rust. I mean, it's just, I'm, that's the way I'm thinking. Right. So I whipped the gun out instantly, just screaming, terror. Everybody's freaking out. Like, oh my God, he's got a gun. Cops get called. Marshals get called. Shut the whole fucking show down. Raid the fucking place. Fucking the uh, fire marshals show up. Fucking everybody, man. The cops fucking barge right in. Uh, everybody's scattered and go straight to church. They go straight to church with the shirt up, ripping his fucking clothes off, searching for the gun, and I'm right behind church with the gun. So I fucking slip out the fucking back door. And we were the, they were in the back patio and they got the church. So I'm in the back patio. I like, Yo, he should be. He is a wonderful storyteller. I mean, he got his mouth wide open. And I'm so confused. He's giving me a headache. I really don't want to finish this video, but we got about 10 minutes. And, uh, uh Jesus the back fence door thing go around the back to the van put the gun in the van walk through the front door back to church like nothing ever fucking happened they never fucking found the gun what is wrong with you you mean to tell me i brought my gun into a club of people told you to put it in your pants then after the show i was like hey everyone he has a gun but nobody heard me but then everyone started freaking out then the fire marshals and the goddamn Soviet Union shows up. Yeah, and the popo and, and, and raids the place, but yeah. don't find a gun because it's on the guy beside me. Yeah, while I'm getting strip searched. Yep, he's. They say you know you took all your clothes. And then off. you sneak out of the building and then back into the building. What's wrong with you? So essentially, you're saying we had a show for a bunch of deaf people, and then uh, the cops showed up, and they're all blind. They're just kind of walking around, touching the walls, looking for a gun. And then you freeze time, and you sneak into the front and into the back, or whatever. And then it magically just we all got away with it. You need fucking help, bro. That would have ruined his career. Everyone's career, bro. We've been that fucked. Fuck, dude. Wow. Hey, Johnny Gobble, did you know that unicorns was real? Oh, yes. Google them on YouTube. I heard they like to stay in Paintsville, Kentucky. They do? Oh, yeah, yeah. You you had to get the fuck away, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this you is had thing. to get the fuck away. Yeah, good thing he fucking got away. Whew. Shoot. Close call. Yeah, who the fuck wants to live like me? Hey, I just seen this car on the side of the road, but you go pick it up. I don't care how much it costs. It's horrible. Just flat out horrible. Listen, as a grown man, like, do I need to, am I wanted here? Am I even respected here? You ain't respected. You wasn't respected. You wasn't respected, bro. Well, they got one thing right in the video. No, you're not respected. <laughs> you like four women and take care of zero of the children. You get zero respect over here. You it, wasn't you know respected. It's, it's things just like that, though. Like, bro, not only that, but no. uh, Church's best friend, Putin, his best friend, Putin, <sighs> was getting jumped in the park in Chim County twice by two younger boys, little fuckers. Like, I, I know I look like a little dude, but I'm, these guys are little, little. Like, my friend, don't mistake me. I'm old school. I'm, I'm 30 years old. I'm not a little kid from the millennial age. I'm old school. I'll fucking manhandle you and maul you, motherfucker. I call bullshit. I don't think you will. <laughs> call up you and maul you? What, you gonna bite somebody's neck? The fuck? All right, well, prove it. Do it to me. Come on, get me. All right. Like, He's gonna right. give you a love hickey. These fucking two little places where these, uh, his little buddy Putin was getting jumped. And, and Church is all hyping me and his cousin up. Billy's like, bro, we gotta go, we gotta go get these motherfuckers, blah, 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 blah. And Putin's in trouble. I'm like, all right, well, let's go. And Billy's like, let's go. So we get the truck and both fucking times, bro, both fucking times we get to these fucking, it's like pussy shit, too. Like, they, they ain't even fighting when we get there. That's the, that's the bad thing. We're sticking up for a pussies that ain't even doing anything. Like, this ain't a fight. This is fucking high school shit. They're just arguing in the parking lot. Well, yeah, when your friends call you and say, hey, man, I think I'm gonna get jumped. You show up and you just stand there and make sure they don't get jumped. Yeah. If them two are arguing or about to fight, what do, you, what do you want us to do? We're not going to jump the guy. 
jump into some sissy shit. I'm just gonna sit there and let them argue. If they fight, they fight. If they don't, they don't. Well, I'm from, if you say we're gonna go do something, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go do it. it. We're gonna go do it. Bro, didn't this dude just say one minute ago, like, he was like, man, I risked my life and I, I'm scared. And, and I held this gun and froze time and escaped the police. Now you're like, well, man, if you show up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why guys like you fucking end up in jail for the rest of your goddamn life. Because you're stupid as fuck. You can't just jump out of a car and just start jumping people. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? They don't call me cracky tooth for nothing, boys. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to know nobody, know what's going on. No situation. I just jump out and start swinging and go to jail for not shit. Just cause I you know, after his, his long storytelling i can care less he apologized so i'm assuming that he realized that church probably went in on his self and yeah he just no. i don't want to be stupid you know what i mean that's how you know i'm a real country boy i just i love being stupid <laughs> And me and your cousin jump out the truck both times and you sit in the truck and film everybody like you just can't wait to see somebody knock the fuck out like that, 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 that right there is the difference between church and even his family and everybody around him that don't fuck with him now. Bro, like, you film the shit that we do. You talk about the shit that you we do. us to do. Yeah, man, I became a millionaire from writing about being a cracky tooth that don't take care of none of his kids. That's how I came respected by hundreds of thousands of people. Not to mention, I didn't know you for very long, bro. You think I've just been, just been doing songs like this? because I hung out with you for six months and tried to help you better your life. Uh, no, I write about me and my friends and what me and my friends do. And you're not a part of that group. Hey, look, hey, look. So I went on to uh, Johnny Gobble page, right? So you guys remember when I told you he had like 400 and some odd subscribers or something like that? This woman now has a thousand subscribers. And he's averaging like 10K views. A video but he has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen forty fifty sixty seventy eighteen nineteen twenty one two three Oh, five, six, twenty eight videos in the last three days. No, the last week he has twenty eight videos in the last week of Up Church. Yo, you can't tell me he ain't cloud fuck chasing, bro. You can't tell me he not cloud fuck chasing. Who does that? 28 videos? 28 videos. 28 freaking videos in a week with one topic. Church. One topic. And you know the, the, the Creek Squad is going to go over there so they could get up in the ass, you know what I'm saying, to, to check him. So all he gonna do is keep feeding off of that, keep feeding off of that, keep feeding off that until he to he get his plate up. Now, okay, watch he stop talking about church. He ain't gonna move his his number. Man, oh my god. So so <sighs> let's let's get this by six. Me to do the shit you think you, you do in your head. Like since they doing that, I'm about to I'm about to eat off their ass too. Bro, fuck you. I'm not your fucking minion. I live my life. I'll fight for me now. Fuck you. And what is it exactly you're doing for yourself? The shit that he would want. Hold up. It says, Ryan, bro, you ain't doing anything but helping my situation with the mayor. You mean with your videos. Well, well, well. Why you didn't play the whole video, Ryan? Ryan, make sure you react to this one. See what I'm saying? He 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 try once church stopped responding, once church stopped responding, he ain't gonna have no other choice but to stop making fucking videos, bro. To stop making fucking videos. Did I hit the wrong button? I sure did. So here we go. Like this Bama just 
came out of nowhere. Went to play out in his life. Averaging he wanted other people to do he, he and film it. Told, this whole time, bro, he wanted to be. He, he wants to have this outlaw image as if he's ever done anything outlaw. Motherfucker, this never. This dude never sold anything. He never had to sell nothing. Do you have to be a drug dealer now to be an outlaw? Damn, mm -hmm. that sucks. I'm an outlaw. What? What are you doing that besides stuff. solidifying that what I say is true, bro? Yeah, man. Fuck up, church. I'm gonna get on YouTube and pretty much make a video that explains how his whole life, the entire time, has been true. That'll show him. Bobby didn't make him rich. Bobby didn't do that. Oh, he church didn't. He got rich because his following. Bobby oh. gave him. Bob, church owns half of Redneck Nation, by the way. I support and am sponsored by Redneck Nation, but I don't own half of it. I mean, you can look that. That's that's public. Does this dude even know how to fucking mail a letter to somebody? Yeah, matter of fact, Bobby's he told said, me he yeah. wasn't even known <laughs> Redneck Nation. Whenever Bobby met Church, then he changed his name to Redneck Nation and solely made it about Church because Church was that fucking popular. Well, what was it called before that? Because I've only known it as Redneck Nation. Brianna, though, Church was homeless before he ever got started, too. Just like me. Okay, that's not going to work. You've already told everyone about the apartment that you came to earlier in the video. Oh, my God. And Brianna, his girlfriend... And her family took church in and got him on his feet. Oh my God, Cracky Tooth. You already told people earlier in the video that she lived with me. Brianna moved in with me, fucking. She's not the type of woman who's gonna be like, oh, look at this homeless guy. You wanna live with me and my family? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not like that. And got him a phone and got him a truck to go to work in. Holy fuck, this sounds like a game show. This sounds like, hello, uh, man. Homeless man, wanna move in with me and my family? Here's you a brand new phone and a brand new car. I must be like redneck Jesus to this motherfucker or some shit. Just fucking, I just think about wanting something just popped up. And all that, and... He said that Bobby done that. He said that Bobby no. done that. No. No, yes, it was Bobby. Why are you saying it's not? You know it was. Bobby from Redneck Nation taught me about the internet. Yes, dumb fuck, it's literally on the internet. Uh, that's what he does, man. Like that's what that's what I'm saying. Like when, the whole time with him, he, I, I, I was there to do music, but he seemed to think that I was there. He bought me a fucking '82 Ford Bronco with a fucking tennis lift on it and 44 inch Mickey Thompson's. I mean, it wasn't nothing special, but I drove that motherfucker to the wheels, fellow. Right. And he got me a fucking. Um, he gave me his high school Nissan hard body, one from high school. He had signed and during yeah. I sold it. I sold that bitch. I'm giving fuck. Sold twenty two hundred dollars. Fuck his truck. <laughs> <sighs> what can I say, guys? You just can't help some people. Yeah. Let this be a lesson. Don't do what I done. I had to learn the hard way. Some of us over the years, we catch on and, you know, our stupid, dumb, fuck, idiot years are over by the time we're about mm, 24, 25, at least for me. Then others like Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth get shit thrown in their lap and really great opportunities and somehow they just fuck them up. And then sometimes they get a second chance and then they fuck that up. And then a third and a fourth and they just keep on fucking shit up. Then they end up getting on the internet when they're high and blaming everyone else for their problems. Yeah. I mean, dude, look at Johnny Gobble. He's got two kids, man. They're 14. They're in high school. They're in ninth grade. And everybody at school... And I know everybody's at school probably like, what the hell's wrong with your father? And they probably like, that's not my dad. I don't know that dude. Probably watching their dad get on here and look at him, bro. Like, look at him. And let me tell you something, kids in Paintsville, what up, Skins? By the way, I love Kentucky. If you do go to school with his two daughters, be nice to him, man. It ain't their fault. Then you have Cracky Tooth. Look at Cracky Tooth, man. He has nothing going on. He's had everything dropped in his lap. I've orchestrated a viral fucking song for him that has 40 million fucking views. He's done nut shit with it. Every woman he's had sex with and got pregnant, he's left them high and dry to fend for theirself. That's fucked up. Yeah. Mm -mm. If you get a woman pregnant, I don't give a fuck what the circumstances are. I don't give a fuck if it was a one night stand, if you was cheating, whatever the fuck the case may be. If you get that woman pregnant, your ass better take care of that baby, bro. You know why? Because that's not the real man thing to do, fucking. We you just gonna leave this baby to have nobody to protect it, look up to it in this fucked up world we're in? 
No. Now, if you don't get along with this woman and y'all are arguing, but you're still like, hey, I'll still pay for whatever since you won't let me see my kid or whatever. Then some other guy comes in the picture and she's like, well, I don't want him to raise the kids and you sign your rights over. That's fucking different. But when you're just like dipping the fuck out, like, I don't know nothing. That alone shows how fucking pathetic and stupid and useless both of you fucking idiots are. That's why it doesn't bother me. Look at you. You both talk like robots. You both ain't doing shit. And by the way, Baby Cakes, I know you're watching this. You're the one who dates Cracky Tooth. And you've been following me for a minute. And you know I wouldn't stray you wrong. If you were smart, you would kick that goofy fucking low life out of your motherfucking place, because that's your place, and you would find somebody better because you deserve better. He has nothing going for him. He don't want nothing going for him. That's not a good life for you, girl. And that's just real talk from Bubba Up Church. Peace. That's what I got right there. Oh my God, that's what I do right there. Hey look, like he said, hope she was watching or watched or have watched it. <clears throat> I'm trying to do a little bit, a little better, better. But uh, until then, Cracky Tooth and the Gobbler. Um, see y'all in the next video. Perfect.